did that. And you know what? That's exactly what the devil wants. And that's why sin does the things it does in the world. But you know what's amazing? For, for every Stephen Hopkins who's in a miserable place like that, you can find other people that will give testimony that are in the exact place about how God gets them through every day. And that they can't wait for Jesus to take them so they can be in a perfect body and never have to suffer through that anymore. And when you leave them, you're just blown away by what incredible faith. This is unreal. Look at what they're going through. And they believe in Jesus with all their heart. And see, that's what it comes down to us on being afraid of a graveyard. You know, one of the things I told the kids early in their lives, if you see a ghost or you see the walking dead, it's pure fact that Jesus is not true. Because if something happens, if somebody dies, their soul either goes to the rest of the wicked or with Jesus, nobody walks around the earth. And if these people are seeing this, I love this show called Millennium one time. It was made by the people who made the X-Files and the writer of it was a Christian. And this guy was a big investigator and his dad's ghost came to talk with him. And he talked with his dad's ghost for about 20 minutes in this episode. <laughs> And when he got done talking to him, he said, hey, I want to thank what you did for me. And the ghost said, what do you mean? And he says, I know you're a demon because there are ghosts. But you know what? If you can convince me to believe in ghosts, you can convince me not to believe in Jesus. And immediately the dad turned into a demon. And see, that's exactly how Satan works. We get scared about this stuff because we don't believe the truth. And so demons will make us believe in ghosts and the undead because then we don't believe that Jesus is the only resurrection. But he is. And we will never die because of him if we have faith. And that's why Jesus ends John eleven twenty six with the wonderful phrase, Do you believe this? Do you believe this? And that's, that's what it comes down to. Do you believe this? When you look at somebody who's professed Christ their whole life, and you're watching them put the casket down on the ground, do you believe they're, going to, they're in an incredible place that you can only dream about? Do, they believe, do you believe they're in a place that you're going to join them? Does it remove your fear of where you're going to be if anything happens to you? If you don't have this faith in your life, we offer the opportunity for you to come today and tell Jesus that you want that faith and that you want to follow him. Please stand and say.
Um, we have a huge celebration. I just wanted to let you know, uh, Randy came forward and you testified to me about it again, have prayer. Uh, last week, Randy has been sober for one year. In the 13 years I've known him, that's the best ever. And that's awesome stuff. And he said that uh, he could not have done it without his faith in Jesus. And to listen to Jesus' voice and the Holy Spirit voice over the voice of the enemy. And uh, that's exactly what we talked about today. I have some announcements. One of my favorite things of the year is Wednesday night, the Harvest Carnival. We need a bunch of workers. But one of the things is, I don't know how many of you knew, I do a lot to set up the games and stuff. I cannot be here Monday and Tuesday. I have to work. So Monday and, or Tuesday, there is a big all-day thing here to set up the games, which is going to start at about what time? It's down to a summer. I don't know. You want to do noon? If you can come out at noon on Tuesday, come out and help set up games and things. Uh, we also need people, and I'm telling you, I hate even telling them this because they're going to make fun. They're going to laugh at me. I blow up all the balloons, and I'm not going to be here to blow up the balloons. And no jokes about Wendy Dude and all that stuff. We need people to come out and blow up about three to 400 balloons. And I'm going to tell you, after a while, you start feeling it. You know, it takes lungs like these to do it. So if you're interested in doing all that stuff, we'll have the balloons. Now today, right after church, we need everybody to help us take these tables and put them down and move chairs. And we're going to move the chairs just against the walls. We're not taking them into another room, if you can help with that. And then we'll get the rest of the tables down out there down later. But please help with that. I want to thank you. The candy support has been incredible. We need you to come and work because there's going to be a bunch of kids come because I know we prayed over the leaflets before we handed them to the schools. And uh, there's going to be a bunch of kids come. And I hear, heard some kids tell me that they like this better than Trump or Treat because of the games. And they have fun over the games. So let's pray that that's true. Did I hit everything about it? John, was you want to work on a dunk machine? No. 